Hey everybody, Susie Q here and welcome to Q Aquatics and Exotics. Isn't this amazing? I'm, I'm shooting my film from the beach, right? Nope. Do you think I'm shooting it from this studio? No. Are these my fish tanks? Yes, they are, but am I standing in front of them? No. I'm just standing in front of my green screen. So what I'm going to do today, am I going to show you all the equipment that I'm using today? No. <laughs> I just love saying no. <laughs> what I want to do is I want to show you the equipment that I've used over the past year in order to be a fish tuber. Check it out. So let me go over the equipment that I've used this last year as a YouTuber. Where's my phone? First, my camera. This is the camera that I used all year. It's my phone. I use that as my video, my camera. I'm very blessed that it's an iPhone, so it takes amazing pictures and amazing footage. It was kind of hard for me to handle with my klutzy hands. So the first thing I went out and got a tripod. This little tripod was super cheap. I'm going to put that across the screen. And this was just so that I could actually hold my camera a little bit steadier, but without holding and pushing the buttons. So this is how I filmed for uh, my very first tripod that I got. Very cheap, tabletop, I could hold it, pretty decent. My very first tripod, my very first tripod after this one actually, is an old school music stand, believe it or not. This is a music stand that I've used. I play keyboards in a band, I play music. I added my iPad adapter to it because I, I read all my music from my iPad. And I would put my phone like this, hold it steady, and take pictures with this as my tripod. Well, then my honey, John, saw what I was using and he bought me a real fancy selfie stick. Now this cost, I'm just gonna put the link in below, you can get it on Amazon. This was not only a selfie stick, it's also a tripod. Best part about this, a little remote control so that I could start it and stop it from wherever I was. It really helped tremendously as it, as I was able to start and stop videos from a push of a button without having to come on up here. So this was my second one and when I was tired of holding it, I could put it as a tabletop tripod, pictures, videos, the whole works. That was my next upgrade. And then I got a lens. This is a macro lens that clips onto your phone. So if you want to take pictures of your fish and really get the scales and the veins in the eyes, you clip this on right over the lens. And now if you hold it super steady and with the remote, so I'm not clicking the camera, I was taking very good macro pictures with this. This was a little pricier. I'll put the link in below. But that was my macro lens. And then I was very blessed with my friend and daughter's boyfriend. They own a business. He saw me struggling making videos because this only goes this this high, maybe 30 inches. He let me use his tripod, which he said it was very affordable. And I will put a link to that. And it comes with this top on. I just took it off for here. This is for my phone. It's also got the universal screw, so you can use it for a camera if you had one. This is where I put my phone. It was able to get a lot higher sturdier and this is what I did a lot of my filming with in front of a fish tank sitting in front of my fish tank and then I cheated a little bit I didn't get a GoPro but he had a GoPro and he lets me use it so I'm not going to really count this as my equipment or affordable but it is the GoPro hero be a hero and this I was dropping in my pond I drop in my tanks I'm not going to really count this because it's not mine but I was able to use it and I feel very, very blessed because it goes in the water as is. So now for my lighting, 
because lighting was getting to be an issue and things were dark. I got this. It works on its own with batteries or you can plug it in. This is my lighting. There was no soft box or anything like this. I got this. There's the price that I got it for in the link. And this one is connected to the cord, but I use this a lot. So this is the exact same thing, LED that I got, but it's connected. I need electricity for this to work. Another light that I got. I still use these lights to light up the room when it's kind of dark because I'd like you to see what I'm talking about when I'm standing here in the room. So then my big purchase that I got that I was so thrilled to get, I was about to do a concert. Well, not me, my students were doing a concert and a musical concert and I wanted to film it. But I also know that all my films so far to this point has been a little jiggy. So I bought a gimbal for your phone. This one was a little more expensive, a little more pricey. I saved up for this one. And this is the Osmo 2. Osmo 2 Portable. So you put this here. It's, see it just hangs. There's machinery in here. So I'll see if it's got battery, but if I turn it on, boom. And if I jiggle, the phone doesn't. So like it was a real easy way for me to take film without being all jiggly. This was my first investment that I saved for that I thought was amazing. You can control it up and down, zoom in and out with the app. I absolutely recommend this. If you're going to make an investment for something and you shoot like I do, which is kind of like this because I can't stop moving when I talk. <laughs> this was one of my first investments. An amazing investment. The next investment that I got because I got this one and I bought this at the same time as I bought my gimbal. I call it a gimbal, my Osmo too. This little tiny tabletop helped me so when I was filming with this I was able to put it down on a table if I wanted to. I could put it on the table if I wanted to, have my hands free, or I could hold it like this as I was walking around. So these two, though, I bought them at the same time. Very good investments, if you ask me. This is just my opinion. Now I do have to admit, in the last month, first 11 months, I had no microphone. In the last 11 months, I've got this lapel microphone. I keep it up here unless I'm wearing a black shirt. But if I'm wearing a black shirt, I could go right here and you would never even see it. And the reason why I love this very affordable lapel microphone, because not only does it help me when I'm over here talking about this tank, I'm farther away from my phone than if I'm over here talking and my, my audio is going in and out. You can use this for a camera or a cell phone. You just flip the switch. So if I was using my cell phone, I'd flip it to a cell phone and it automatically fixes the TRS, TRRS, and the TRRS. And if you understand that, more power to you because I'm still trying to get it. But this lets you use it between either a camera or a microphone. And this only costs this much money. And I don't know if this is going to help anybody. I don't know if it's my budget is in your budget. This is just my experience for the last year. I've put all these links in the description below. I got to tell you though, these are called affiliate links which means if you click on them and use those links to purchase any one of these items, I get credit. I don't know if it's a couple pennies. I'm not sure because I've never done it. In fact, they actually just send me an email saying if I can't sell three things in the next 30 days, I'm going to be fired as an affiliate. So <laughs> if any of these things are in your budget and you're interested, use my links. That will help me stay and maintain being an Amazon affiliate, which I'm going to be a little more active in because I don't want to be fired. Who wants to be fired? Who wants to be fired? That is the equipment that I used for my first year as a fish tuber. Is it sophisticated? No. Is it affordable? It was in my language affordable and the things that I didn't think were affordable I saved up for. Do I think everybody needs to have what I use? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I know so many people that use their phone and they're amazing. You know, uh, if you concentrate on the content and the audio isn't like, you know, 
suck. It's, it's all about the content. It's all about what you're offering to people. It's all about what you're sharing, your passion. So I hope this, I was able to help some people. Um, Cause I know we've had some, you know, there's a lot of people that have been doing this a long time. And when they say, well, as a beginner, you need to have blah, blah, blah. I think some people forget what a beginner is. You know, and in my world, what I'm talking about, a beginner would be when I was filming things on my phone and uploading. No edit, no thumbnail, filming, upload, film, like, and that was my beginning. Then I had to learn how to edit, you know, and then I had to learn how to do that. Now, if we're going to talk about software as an investment, I'm very blessed because I have Apple products. I automatically had the free iMovie app. Um, and I still use the iMovie app. It's free. So I haven't outgrown it. What I've outgrown is storage. I'm battling storage. My phone is full. I can't delete pictures. I can't add pictures. Everything's full. My iCloud is full. I have two terabytes of iCloud. I got external hard drives. So apparently I'm doing something wrong. And when I find out what I'm doing and what I'm doing wrong, I'll absolutely share with you how I'm going to overcome my storage issue. But for now, that's my journey on the first year and all the equipment I used. I can't wait to share with you what I'm learning next. Thanks for checking out my equipment. I would love to hear about the equipment that you used your very first year of fish tubing or you tubing. So let me know in the comments below because I'd love to hear some examples of what beginning fish tubers and YouTubers can use to make affordable videos. Thanks for checking it out, guys. See you next time.